Hi, my name is Romujit and welcome to our third video on SSM Lab Preparedness. Little bit on my background, I am having 8 years of experience in IT field supporting Intel, VMware, SSM and Cloud. In our last video, we designed and configured our Active Directory OU, User, Service Account and Group Structure. If you already have an environment, this might not be as usual for you because we will be jumping around on quite a few configuration before SSM installation. Based on the flow, in this video, I will show you how you can allow firewall ports for inter-site communication for the SSM site servers. We will learn step by step which ports we need to allow for SQL Server service, SQL broker and other site server components. Also, we will configure our group policy so we can initiate client push installation from site server to client system. To configure the firewall ports, let's open group policy management console first. Group policy is an infrastructure that allows you to specify managed configurations for users and computers through group policy settings and computer policy preferences. We will create a policy for our SQL Server to open the TCP port 80, 1433 and 4022. Port 80 is required for SQL reporting service, 1433 for SQL Server service and 4022 for SQL Server broker. To create a policy, expand forest, then domains, domain name and group policy. Right click on it, click on new, fill policy name, in our guest is the same settings. and hit enter. Now select it, right click on SQL settings, then click on edit and it will open the policy in editor to configure. For configuring the firewall ports, expand policies under computer settings then Windows settings, then security settings and Windows Defender Firewall. Expand it, then select Inbound Rules, right click on it, click on New Rule. Next. Select ports, next specify the ports name for SQL application, it will allow the inbound rules so server ports can listen inbound traffic coming to it. Next allow, next profiles next enter the role name as SQL communication and click on finish now we will configure one more policy for our SSM settings. Follow the same steps as we performed earlier to allow the SMB port 445 and 63000 to 64000 port range for distribution point and multicast. DHC port 67, 68, TFT port 69 and boot information negotiation layer port 4011 for PX enabled distribution point to perform the OSD. 
we will also allow port 80 for our fallback status point port 10123 for client notification client to management point port 8530 or 80 8531 or 443 for software update point the HTTP and HTTPS ports are also required for state migration point and other site server component communication like distribution point, management point, cloud management gateway etc. Though CMG will only work over HTTPS. We will allow TCP port 2701 and 3389 for configuration manager remote console connection and RDP. Then we will allow RPC port 135 for configuration manager console to site server and management point communication. Now we will edit our default domain policy to allow the file and print service and WMI so our client can download the content from distribution point. Again go to inbound rules, new rule, predefined, select file and print service, next, next finish. Then we will create one more rule for WMI. Select WMI from the list and click on next then finish. Next we will link our SSM policy to our SSM sub OU under server. So all the SSM servers will receive the same policy from our domain controller. To link, click on SSM server application view. Under servers, link an existing GPO, then select SSM policy. Same we will do for SQL policy to link under MS SQL sub -view. Note, for successful SSM client push installation, the account that is used for push method need to be a member of local administrator group. We can achieve this by adding our client push account to our default domain policy. edit, go to preferences, control panel setting, local users and groups, then new, local group, From the drop down, group name will be administrator. Click on add. Search for the account. In our case, SA dash SSM underscore push and add it. Same, we will add SSM accounts group and server group to our SSM policy. Go to SSM settings policy. 
right click edit preferences again control panel setting local users and groups new local group group name will be administrator and we will add grp dash ccm underscore account and grp dash ccm underscore servers these two groups click on ok and apply do the same thing for our sql policy in this case we will add sql accounts and ssm server group to our sql setting this is required because during new site setup the account records write to local administrator group of the site server each server that host the site database each server instance of the sms provider for the site and sysadmin on the instance of sql server that host the site database select ssm server okay close the console now we will verify whether our ssm site server and database server receive this policies or not to force the update to each computer objects in our lab environment we will run gp update forward slash force from our power cell console all right the policy has been updated let me log in to our database server and site server open windows firewall advanced security to check whether the firewall policy has been applied or not in bond rules it's look like the database server didn't receive the policy let me check if the computer object placed correctly open active directory users and computers all right we can see the computer object is not placed in correct ou let me first add it to the ssm server group then we will place it to ms sql sub ou under servers note after modifying a computer object it's required a reboot to apply the settings so let me reboot my database server
in the meantime let me check my ssn site server as well windows firewall inbound rules looks good also let me check uh, whether that groups has been added to local server group or not groups administrators service account and groups are also added it means the policy has been applied now back to our database server let me log in let me check the groups first under administrator okay so the service account and the groups has been also added in our database server and in firewall ssm communication setting has been also applied so it looks good server got the policy now all right that's it covered i think what i want to cover on today we will do future video on how to install and configure sql server and creating a database for our ssm site please feel free to comment and share your questions if you like the video thank you